Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films. If that is something that interests you then why don't you subscribe? Today I'll be reacting to a film called Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I think I'm saying this correctly. I am not quite sure. This film has been repeatedly requested and I have just not gotten around to see it yet. Uh, I've heard of this film many many times before and the title just you know Ferris Bueller's Day Off so I'm, I don't know just take the day off from work or I don't no idea but I am excited to check it out so if you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about then great hop on and let's go what's the matter Ferris honey feel his hands they're cold and clammy mm. I'm fine honey you're not going to school like this now oh fine what's this what's his problem he doesn't feel well yeah right you get to school. Wait, you're letting him stay home? Oh. Call if you need us. They bought it. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. The key to faking out the parents is the clammy hands. You've studied this. Adler. Here. Anderson. Here. Bueller. 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 Bueller clearly isn't in love. He's sick. Cameron, babe, what's happening? Very little. I'm taking the day off. Now get dressed and come on over. You can't stoop it. I'm sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Come on over here and pick me up. So I'm guessing he's spoiled. Like, he's really entitled to spoiled. Katie Bueller. This is Edward R. Rooney, Dean of Students. You are aware that your son is not in school today. Yes, I am. Ferris is homesick. He has missed an unacceptable number of school days. So far this semester, he has been absent nine times. Nine times? I don't remember him being sick nine times. That's probably because he wasn't sick. I can't believe it. I've got it right here in front of me. Oh. I asked for a car, I got a computer. Great! Is she sniffing glue? Oh, Grace, honey. Hi, Ferris, how's your bod? <coughs> oh my god, you're dying? <laughs> is it serious? I think I may need a kidney transplant. Shit. What is so dangerous about a character like Ferris Bueller is he gives good kids bad ideas. If you're not over here in 15 minutes, you can find a new best friend. <laughs> You've been saying that since the fifth grade. I'm so disappointed in Cameron. 20 bucks says he's sitting in his car debating about whether or not he should go out. He'll keep calling me until I come over. He'll make me feel guilty. God damn it! Uh, Sloane Peterson, may I have a word with you, dear? Your father called. Your grandmother has just passed. Dead grandmother? Yes, that's what Mr. Peterson said. This is George Peterson. If you wouldn't mind excusing Sloane, I'd uh, appreciate it. Oh, uh, uh, sure. Yo, I'd be happy to. It's Ferris Bueller, a little twerp. Ed Rooney's office. Hi, this is Ferris Bueller. Can I speak to Mr. Rooney, please? I'll tell you what, dipshit. You don't like my policies, you can just come on down here and smooch my big old white butt. Ed, Ferris Bueller's online, too. I think I owe you an apology, sir. Well, I should say you do. I, uh... Oh. You make me get out of bed, you make me come over here. You make me make a phony phone call to Edward Rooney? I'm sorry, it was uncalled for. What a cute friendship. To fix the situation, I'm gonna have to ask you for a small favor. Of course. The 1961 Ferrari 250 GT, California. Don't tell me this is the car they're gonna take. Oh, this is gonna end so bad. Less than 100 were made. My father spent three years restoring this car. Ooh. Ferris, my father loves this car more than life itself. I'm sorry. There's nothing else we can do. Yes, you can leave the car alone. I feel so bad for Cameron. He knows the mileage, Ferris. He doesn't trust you? Never has, never will. How about we run a nice Cadillac? My treat! Oh, Sloan, dear. Hurry along now. What are we gonna do? The question isn't what are we going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do. Say Ferris Bueller. Say Ferris. 
What? We're collecting money to buy Ferris Bueller a new kidney. They run about 50 Gs or so, so if you could help out. Go piss up a flagpole. Ferris Bueller's behind this, there is no doubt in my mind. And now he's got Sloan Peterson involved in this thing. Something's going on, God damn it. You think? We're not leaving the car here. I want the car back home where it belongs, right now. Calm down, please. I'm gonna give the guy a fiver to watch. Oh, oh. I want you to take extra special care of this vehicle. No. Okay. Relax. The guy has a ponytail and really large ears. Don't trust him. Oh, uh, you fellas have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Professional what? Professional thief. I think I see my dad. Son of a bitch is down there somewhere. You want to get married? Sure. Can we please get the hell out of here? This place gives me the creeps. May I help you? Yes, you may. Hi, I'm Abe Froman. You're Abe Froman. That's right. The sausage king of Chicago. Yeah. We like to be seated. Listen, young man, either you take the field trip outside or I'm going to have to call the police. A, you can never go too far. B, if I'm gonna get busted, it is not gonna be by a guy like that. Come on. Ask for Abe Froman. May I speak to Abe Froman? The sausage king of Chicago. I appreciate your understanding. Enjoy your lunch. How are they going to pay for this, though? This looks like a really expensive restaurant. Cameron, dear friend, you thought we wouldn't have any fun. Shame on you. He is not having fun. I'm actually amazed that I got the car out of the garage. I love driving it. It is so choice. <laughs> you realize if we played by the rules right now, we'd be in gym? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your concern for my well-being. All this just for one day. Amazing. You're in big trouble, Buster. Get down here. Ferris. Who is it? No well, goddamn well who it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't come to the door right now. Why is he so hell-bent on busting Ferris? Doesn't he have a school to run? No! Oh. Oh. You are not going to break into someone else's home. That, no. You are a dean of a high school. Oh my god. Oh boy. It's getting late, buddy. We better go get the car back home. We have until six. I'm sorry. I mean, I know you don't care, but it does mean my ass. Cameron, what have you seen today? Nothing good. What do you mean, nothing good? We've seen everything good. We've seen the whole city. Look over there. Oh. You know, as long as I've known him, everything works for him. There's nothing he can't handle. I can't handle anything. Ferris can do anything. You're a nervous wreck. I don't think you're going to handle life. Oh my god. So the community is just hell bent on saving Ferris. Sleep tight, Pooch. Oh! What did you do to the dog? I knew it! Oh! The, the funny thing is, I still don't understand why everybody's so angry that Ferris is not in school. How does that ruin their life so much? Ferris. Bueller. Yeah! Oh! I'm not worried about your heart. That was so quick. Hey, this looks okay to me, Cameron. Bye, you guys! Yeah, see you later. Later. Ooh. There is an intruder, male, Caucasian, possibly armed, certainly weird, in my kitchen. My name's Bueller. Look, it's real nice that you hope my brother's feeling better, but I'm in danger, okay? I need help! 
Whoever's in the house is still in the house. I'd like you to know that I've just called the police. Ah! How many miles did you say this thing had on it when we left? 126 and halfway between three and four tenths. Why? I think Cameron might have blown a microchip or two. All I wanted to do was give him a good day. You feeling any better, Cameron? Um. Damn, Cameron, wake up! Come on, wake up! Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. Sorry, Bueller, you deserve this. Is that Charlie Seen? Are you in here for drugs? I don't know why I'm here. You don't want to talk about your problem? You want to know what's wrong? In a nutshell, I hate my brother. See, I went home to confirm that the shithead was ditching school, and when I was there, a guy broke into the house, I called the cops, and they picked me up for making a phony phone call. What do you care if your brother ditches school? Yeah, exactly! Why should he get to ditch when everybody else has to go? You could ditch. I'd get caught. So you're pissed off because he ditches and doesn't get caught, is that it? Basically. Basically. And your problem is you. I honestly think he is my favorite character in this film. He's the only one making sense. <laughs> What's wrong? Miles aren't coming off. Just have to crack open the odometer, roll it back by hand. Forget it. I gotta take a stand. Are you gonna tell your father you took it out for a spin? I put up with everything. My old man pushes me around. I never say anything! Is Cameron having a nervous breakdown? I'm so sick of his shit! He's a very troubled individual who has not been loved enough. <laughs> yeah, you've never seen Cameron like this. You pushed him over the edge, slot. My father will come home, he see what I did. I can't hide this. I don't care, I really don't. I'm just tired of being afraid. <laughs> Ferris should take the blame on this one. If he hadn't insisted on taking the car out, none of this would have happened. What'd I do? You didn't do anything. Ferris did. You killed the car. Oops. Holy <gasps> shit. Cameron, it's my fault. Yes, very much so. Please tell me you mean this. No, I'll take it. No, you didn't do anything. I want it, I'm gonna take it. That's it. Thanks anyway. Are we watching his death scene? I, I just can't believe she came to you with a story about an intruder. I think she's had a pretty good scare. Oh, by the way, I hope your son is feeling better. Tell him all the guys at the station here are pulling for him, hmm? Oh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh. <clears throat> you think Cameron's gonna be okay? Oh, yeah. He's gonna be just fine. You knew what you were doing when you woke up this morning, didn't you? He must have planned this for weeks. Oh shit, I have to go. I love you. I love you too. He's gonna marry me. I was gonna take my commission and buy Ferris a car. Stop! Um. Jeannie, what the hell are you doing? Are you trying to kill us? Jeannie at the police station. She got a speeding ticket, another speeding ticket, and I lost the Vermont deal because of her. I think we should shoot her. Did the father say that he think they should shoot their own daughter? Looking for this? I got you, Ferris. Ferris, we're home! Hi. Thank God you're all right. You know we've been worried sick about you. <laughs> Why is she coming through for him? She's hated him the whole movie. Thank you, Mr. Rooney, for driving him home. Now, I want you to go upstairs and get in bed. Can you imagine someone as sick as Ferris trying to walk home from the hospital? <laughs> By the way, Mr. Rooney, you left your wallet on the kitchen floor. Please, 
Don't make me stay home again. I want to go to school. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, that was me watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It was good. It was sort of everything I thought an 80s film would be. Although, you know, didn't know in the beginning that Ferris was a high school student. It was, uh, it was interesting to see how it all came together. Although I would have wanted to see a scene where Cameron stood up to his dad. That would have been sort of a very satisfying ending. It's a sort of a loose end there, but other than that, it was a good film. I can see why it sort of became a cult classic. I, w I would say four out of five. It was a well-made movie. It was well acted. It was funny at parts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos four days a week. I'll see you in the next video.